Hey everybody, so the NHL season is now less than a week away, and today I want to talk about some teams that I think could really surprise this year and maybe end up being a, quite a bit better than people think right now. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that they're guaranteed to do this or that they will, but I do think that with all of these teams, the potential is there for them to be better than a lot of people are expecting this season, and they could really kind of make some surprising noise this year with the kind of seasons that they can have. So before we begin, I just ask that you please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly appreciated. But let's get into it here. Starting at number five, where I have the New York Rangers. Now, I, I was iffy about putting the Rangers on this list, and that's why they're at five, because I think the Rangers are being hyped up by a lot of people. Um, I think the Rangers are a very hyped up team going into this season. They just got Lafreniere, even though they already had so, so much young talent there and had a pretty good season last year. I think started to show glimpses of what they could be. Um, but at the same time, there are still a lot of doubters with the New York Rangers, and that's why they're on this list. There are a lot of doubters still with the Rangers. There's a lot of people that think they're too young that don't think they're ready yet. And, and are still a couple years away. So I will say this about the New York Rangers. This, this is a team that I think could really blow some minds this year with how good they are if things in certain areas go really, really well. And the biggest thing I think for the Rangers is going to be Igor Shesterkin in goal. This, this is the guy that I think has the Rangers season in his hands. If Igor Shesterkin plays like he did last season, and that was in a very small sample size, but if he plays at the level that he did last year where he looked like a, a star goaltender, I think the New York Rangers are going to make the playoffs this year. If Shesterkin cannot keep up the level that he did last year or play consistently over a longer stretch at that level, then I think the Rangers might, you know, just be on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoff picture at the end of the season. But I think it's really going to come down to goaltending. Igor Shesterkin, if he plays like I think he can and like he's shown that he has the potential to, the Rangers could be a very, very good team this season. Um, they, they're, We know that they're loaded with talent up front. Their defense, you know, obviously has a little bit of defensive cracks in it here and there. But they can put up a lot of points from the back end. They can score a lot of goals up front. And if they get great goaltending from Igor Shesterkin, this is a playoff team. Um, and I think there are a lot of people that would be surprised if the Rangers do make the playoffs um, this year. I think there's a good portion of hockey fans who still think they're too young and still think they're a year or two away. Uh, but I think they really could, could make a push this year if they get great goaltending, if their young talent produces up front, which I think it's going to, I'm not worried about the goal scoring. Um, um, I think it's really going to come down to defense and goaltending with this team. Um, but they've got, uh, I think they have a chip on their shoulder after getting kind of embarrassed by the hurricanes in the qualifiers last year. I think they have a more of an attitude this year, a bigger chip on their shoulder. I think they got kind of knocked back down to earth a little bit last in the, in that, uh, qualifying round last year. And I would really look for them to possibly make a big time push this year, which to some people would certainly not be a surprise, but to another subset of hockey fans, I think would kind of catch them a little bit off guard. At number four, I have the Florida Panthers. Uh, I really think the Florida Panthers can have a better season this year than they did last year, but it is going to come down to Sergei Bobrovsky in net and that defense in front of him. I mean, we know that, that Florida can score, and I know they've lost Dadanov and Hoffman this offseason, but they're still going to be able to put the puck in the net. They're still going to score goals. This with the Florida Panthers, whether or not they are a playoff team or not, is going to completely come down to can they keep the puck out of their net. Last season, they could not keep the puck out of their net. Bobrovsky's goals against was horrendous. His save percentage wasn't good, and the defense in front of him was Swiss cheese. Um, 
you know, we got we've got to see if they can play better defensively this year. If they play better defensively, Bobrovsky gets his goals against down, then you could see the Florida Panthers sneak into a playoff spot in that central division. I don't think they're going to be at the top of the division or anything like that, but they could sneak into that four spot if Bobrovsky has a has a more Sergei Bobrovsky like season and can start to be the goaltender that they signed for ten million dollars instead of whatever that was that we saw last year where he didn't even look like he wanted to be there. So Florida is a team that I think could be sneaky and get into a playoff spot if they get better goaltending and defense than they did last season. At number three, the Nashville Predators. And this is a team that I think can certainly be significantly better than they were last year. Last year was just a bad year. Um, they stunk for most of last season. And their star players, with the exception of Roman Yossi, their star players stunk last season, particularly the forwards. Um, Duchesne was horrible in his first season. He only had 42 points. Ryan Johansson was terrible last year. Philip Forsberg had a really down year. Victor Arvidsson uh, missed a lot of time with injury, and he had a really down year. I mean, their star players were bad with the exception of Roman Yossi, who went out and won the Norris Trophy. But everywhere else, even Matthias Ekholm had a really down season last year. Ryan Ellis missed a lot of time with injury. Their goaltending was not good. Um, Pekka Rene had a, had a brutal season. UC Soros is going to have to show that he can be a starting goaltender. Now, UC Soros in the second half of the season last year actually played pretty well in net. He had he was not good in the playoffs, but in the at the second half of the regular season, he was actually pretty good in that. Um, so he's going to play a big role in what that team is able to do this year. Pekarene needs to be better. He's not going to play as many games, I don't think, but as still is kind of a veteran backup now to Soros. I think Rene needs to step up and win some games this year. He certainly needs to play better than he did last season. But their star players up front just need to get back to being star players. I mean, Duchesne and Johansson down the middle have to be significantly better. Forsberg's got to score more. Arvidsson needs to score more. Um, this team needs to find some offense and I'm going to be really interested to see how Nashville looks this year. If they can get back to being the Nashville Predators that we're accustomed to seeing, or if, if last season was more of a, a glimpse into the, the downward future of this team and which way that they're going. So Nashville is a team that I think a lot of people are kind of counting out this year. I think they can be a playoff team if they really, you know, gel and, and get those star guys going uh, like they couldn't do last season. Um, but if not, it's going to be another disappointing season for the Preds if those guys play like they did last year. At number two, the Vancouver Canucks. This is a team I think a lot of people are sleeping on. I've seen a lot of people predicting them to miss the playoffs. They went to the second round last year. Like they they played really well. They played Vegas really well in the second round. Couldn't come out of it with the win, but this is a young team on the rise. They are an ascending team right now. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on Vancouver. And a lot of people are talking about what they lost this offseason. I really don't think they've lost this uh, that much this offseason. Yes, Jacob Markstrom is gone, but they brought in Braden Holtby, who's a Stanley Cup winning goaltender, and they have Thatcher Demko, who I am really high on and think is ready to take over the starting goaltending job there. And Demko was phenomenal in the postseason when Markstrom was out injured last year. Like, I think Demko is ready, and Demko could be a better goaltender than Jacob Markstrom. And you add Braden Holtby into the mix, who won a Stanley Cup and has been, uh, had a tough year numbers wise last year, but for the most part, has been an extremely good goaltender in his NHL career. Demko and, and, and Holtby, to me, is not really a downgrade from Markstrom and, Holt, er, um, and Demko, because I think Demko's better than what he was last year. He's still a young goalie getting better each and every year, and you just have Holtby replace Markstrom. I don't think that's really a downgrade, um, and then they talk about Chris Tanev leaving on the, on the back end. They brought in Nate Schmidt. They got Nate Schmidt from, from Vegas. I've, Schmidt's an upgrade over Chris Tanev. Uh, like Nate Schmidt is a better defense overall player and defenseman than Nate than um 
Chris Tanev is. So they actually upgraded there. So they've got a ton of talent up front. We know they're going to score goals with Patterson and Besser and Horvat and um, Pearson and Miller and all the talent they have up front. They've got Quinn Hughes anchoring the back end. They brought in Nate Schmidt. They still have Alex Adler. They're going to sign Hamannick as soon as they get Furland on LTIR. Hamannick's going to be your number four defenseman. Uh, I really like Vancouver this year, and I think they're going to be a lot better than a lot of people are giving them credit for, and and I certainly see them in the playoffs this year. That brings us now to number one, and this is a team that I think really, really is going to surprise some people with how good they are this year. Not sure if they're a playoff team, but they're certainly going to be in the mix, I think, with a ton of young talent, and that is the Los Angeles Kings. The LA Kings are just starting to kind of come out of rebuild mode. Um, they've, be, they've been rebuilding over the past couple seasons, and I think they are really going to show that they're uh, a team to be reckoned with for the future this year. They have an incredibly good young prospect pool, maybe the best prospect pool in the, in the, in the league. I know that Ottawa and Detroit will have something to say about that, but LA is right there. They might have the best prospect pool in the league right now. Um, I mean, Velarde, Turcotte, Kaliev, Clegg, and Bjornfoot on the back end. These are guys that could start to push for NHL jobs this season. And I just think they're such a young team with little to no expectations. No one expects them to make the playoffs. Everyone thinks they're going to be near the bottom of the division. Everyone still kind of looks at them as a rebuilder. Uh, they won a lot of games at the end of the season last year. When that pressure was off and the expectations were off, they, and they just went out and played. They won a lot of games and made a real push at the end of the season last year. I think they could be a surprisingly good team this year. I don't know if they're playoff ready yet. They still might be a couple years away from that. But I think they're going to be a lot better than most people expect. And in that division, looking at the West division, I think maybe they could sneak into that final playoff spot. I think when you look at that division, you have the clear cut three top teams. You've got Colorado, St. Louis, and Vegas at the top. Those are your three best teams easy, in my opinion. But that fourth spot, that fourth spot and last playoff spot, I think is completely up for grabs. And you're going to have Minnesota in on that. You're going to have San Jose in on that. You might have Arizona in on that. But LA is going to be in there. And I think LA could be good enough if these young players are ready and these young players are ready to step into an NHL role and really produce. Um, you could see LA maybe steal that fourth playoff spot in the West. I really could see that happening this year. And I think that they are a team that's going to be a lot better than people originally think and, and probably are predicting them to be this year. Um, I, I'm expecting a, a big thing from L.A. in the future. And I think we could get to see glimpses of that this season. And, you know, it's, it's, it's going to come down to the young guys. Straight up, it's going to come down to the young guys. But if they're playing with that youthful, reckless abandon and, and just, you know, with the pressure off and just going out there and playing, I think that they, they could maybe, you know, sneak into a playoff spot and be and be a surprisingly good team this year. And I really think they're going to be in the playoff race. Whether they get in or not, we'll have to see, but I really think they're going to be in the playoff race. And that's going to be valuable experience to a lot of these young players. Um, just to have, be, have that and, and be a part of that over the course of a season. And to be in a playoff race is something that's really going to benefit these young guys long term. So L.A. is a team that I absolutely look for to surprise people this season with how good they are. So those are the five those are five teams that I've got that I really think could be surprises this year. Like I said, um, there's no guarantee that they do it. I just think that they have the potential with their rosters and their divisions and their current situations. I think the potential is there for them to possibly be a lot better than people are originally expecting. And they could um, they, they could really you know surprise a, a lot of fans with how good they are the, this season. But whether or not it happens remains to be seen. We'll have to wait and see how this year goes. And um, it's going to be a dogfight in a lot of these divisions. It's going to be an absolute dogfight to get into the playoffs. 
and uh, it's going to be really, really fun, exciting hockey to watch. So we're less than a week away. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our Patreon merchandise store and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.